at the end of my PhD, uh, before going for postdoc, uh, I met uh, uh, the director, not the director, uh, the assistant of the director of the Pasteur Institute at that time, to uh, ask him whether I could apply one day for a position at Pasteur. And the guy looked at me and said, you think that you are going to make a career uh, as a researcher? I said, I really would love to do that. And I would love to do that at Pasteur since I made my PhD at Pasteur. I said, no way. Women never have done anything in science. You better think immediately to revise your career plan. So I left, I left, uh, I made a postdoc in the US, and I was thinking to myself, uh uh, of course, I was thinking about Marie Curie, but the guy was, uh, you know, I was young, he was uh, the collaborator of the director, so I was a little bit shy, I did not say anything at that time. But I thought in s to myself, I say, okay, we have to show to this kind of person what women are capable to do in science. So that has been a driving force, by the way, for me. <laughs> to try to uh, demonstrate to male <laughs> what <laughs> women, and the first one, by the way, was my, fa my own father himself. <laughs> because uh, he, he thought, he encouraged me to, to, to make my study at university, but he was really thinking that uh, I better marry a guy and uh, take care of the children than uh, to uh, be a scientist. So for my own father, for this kind of, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, male researchers or a very important person, I said to myself, let's show them, demonstrate to them what we can do. And uh, that has been, as I said, a driving force. The guy, by the way, at Pasteur, called me back uh, many years uh, after, uh, I think it was at the end of the 80s or the beginning of the 90s, at the time we had the blood affair, you know, in France. And the guy called me and said, uh, um, I would like to congratulate you, not only for what you did uh, with, the, uh, with the discovery of the AIDS virus, but also because, because you, had, you have a lot of courage 